who the who the right. So what? First guy. Just press that on that. Right. Uh -huh. You're good. Continue. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's great. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I, you. I, I do my best. I don't think I've been right thing periodically. I've been more through this all. Make it disappear. Got it. Thank you, Mr. Michael G. Day. <clears throat> 51 transactions. Now, you have to look at. Uh oh, see? You yeah, made me. Uh uh. Look, I want to move this from here. I want to do that. Look yeah. at God. Thank you. All right, now go. All right. Same thing, $350,000 per transaction. Now your income went up to a half million dollars. Are you mad? No. 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 Going to the bank on a regular basis, mm -hmm. right? Seven days a week. Yeah. I want a bank open on Sunday. <laughs> right. These things are possible through diligence and doing things differently and changing your mindset most of all, which is why I say work with broke people, you're going to be broke. Trying to save somebody. Everybody in here has tried to save somebody. And then after it was all over with, when you couldn't save them, you said, what the hell was I thinking? Right? Yeah. I don't do that no more. I ask the questions up front. You want to buy what? How much money you got in the bank? That's the first thing that come out of my mouth. Do you know what your credit score is? Well, yeah. And don't tell me nothing about no damn credit card. Mm -hmm. I need a tri-merge report from an approved lender. All right? Do you have an approved lender that you work with? Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Dr. Boy Credit Union. Yes? Yeah. All right. They are here to support your growth. They do 100% finance. So what is it 766 now? I mean, uh, the 766, the low oh, yeah, seven hundred sixty-six thousand dollars, hundred percent finance. Okay, so now I put that up there because building business is my business, but building business should be your business. Growing business should be your business. Facilitating new opportunities for yourself to generate more income should be your business. Don't take anything for granted in this business because what you did today does not matter tomorrow, and what you did yesterday is over with. Can't get it back. That's the dynamic that you have to take into account. So, sniper targeting, professions and demographics, medical professions, teachers, engineers, nurses, high net worth individuals, CPAs, insurance, and mortgage partner database market. Now, this is what you have here. I'm not a realtor, but I'm a research all. I'm a fine client through research. You need to start targeting and finding clients through research. Sniper targeting, professions and demographics. And this is just a sample. This is just a sample. What are you going to do to increase your per transaction average if you don't change who you're targeting to do business with? That's how you change up and do things in a different way. As I said, I'm gonna, they're recording this, but I'm going to give Michael this uh, slide deck as well. Think about what you can do if you know which doctor meetings and happy hours to go to. Teachers, all right? Hero programs, stuff like that to help teach with down payment assistance, all right? The TDECU accept down payment assistance. <laughs> right, they have their own, right? But think about it. You have engineers. They're boring, yes, but they make money. All right. So you want to work with an engineer or a uh, Popeye's grill cook? Just ask them for a friend. There you go. Nurses, high net worth individuals. But think about it. everything is researchable. Everything is researchable. Zip codes. Did you know that zip codes are broken down by average credit score, average household income, average equity 
in the houses in those zip codes. This is all public knowledge. If you want to grow your business, you need to get out of the space that you've been working in and going into a new space. I run on greed. Yes, you heard that right. I run on greed. And say, yeah, what do you mean by that? I run on greed because I want to be in the right spaces. I'm not greedy. I run on greed because I want to be in the right space to be prosperous and profitable. That's the difference between good and great. If you're still celebrating a closing you had last June, I need you to get another job. <laughs> it happens a lot. Hey, I, you know, I called that million dollar deal in 1995. What the hell? No. What you did yesterday doesn't matter today. That check has been deposited and you just spent half of it. First time home buyers. And I'm not talking about them. Not them. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the first time homebody that's across the street over here paying five thousand dollars a month rent. That's that first time homebody I'm talking about right here. All right, the average rent in seven seven zero two seven where you're sitting at right now is thirty seven hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Right here, thirty seven hundred dollars average rent. That first time homebody who needs to be educated by you on why they should purchase. But for some of you got here. We was talking to uh, Miles right here. Miles was talking about his friends not having the money, but they have everything else except the money. Well, you got a 103% lender in your corner to tell these first-time homebuyers, you don't need everything you thought you need. You just need a little bit of it. I need you to stop going to restaurants every night for 30 days. <laughs> there's, your, there's your savings to set up your escrow accounts. That's all I need you to do. The closing costs and the financing, we got that with my credit union partners. That's what you have to take advantage of. Growth buyers. They thought they were only going to have three children, but now they got five. Growth. Empty nesters. They're not going upstairs no more. So you need to target them to list that house, sell that house, and find them a new one. So now you got two for one. That's what targeting is about. Targeting the right potential client to grow your business. How about semi-luxury buyers? 550 to 750. They out there, and the hottest market is 600 to 800. But then there's the luxury buyer. Everybody wants to sell luxury, but they don't know how to identify who's in luxury. Well, you got right there, high net worth individuals. One of the classes that we're going to take is the luxury pathway for Brooks and Davis to help you target luxury buyers. Custom buyers, relationships with custom builders. You find the land, they build the home. You got spec builders who will buy the land and build a home looking to sell it. Then you have builders who are looking for land for their clients. But you have to develop these relationships. That's the sniper target. Now I'm talking about professions and demographics. Professions, demographics. You can explore and have more just by being engaged. I go different places all the time. And people say, yeah, why you do that? Look, I get, I've gotten thrown out of better places than this, so I will still go. I don't need to be welcome. I need to be in a room. And I want you to also start thinking about this one. I don't need to be a part. I don't need to make money on 20 transactions. I need to be a part of 20 transactions. So that way you get your name out. You don't have to make money on everybody you come in contact with. You need your name expanded. Think about your own personal level of social media that has nothing to do with social media. Let's call it personal media. Meeting people, engaging people, learning people, things like that. And then don't forget our investors. Investors are now buying land and building their own investment properties. These are dynamics that you need to be aware of. Targeting my professions and demographics. Think about it. all that you can do with revenue generating partners. Your income goals are dictated by the lead type. The wrong lead doesn't get you to your income goals. Your income goals are dictated. So if you want to make $300,000 a year, 
you need to be working with the right people. Right people. I went to, uh, Michael knows this story. I went to a Christmas party some years ago and they were celebrating the top producers in the office. All right. And I'm standing there because I got more of these events to go to. And they were celebrating the top producer in the office made $3 million in sales. So I'm always counting somebody else's money. So I said, wait a minute. Hey, number $90,000. And that's the photo split. And that's the top producer. And I had just left a party where the top producer had made, did $39 million in sales. So <laughs> one office's top producer is another office's ghetto. Okay? Let's be real clear. So you need to identify what your income goals are. What are your income goals? And your income in your income goals must be dictated by lead type. Who you want to work with? Do you want to work with here versus here? And I'm not saying ignore the lower income goal. I'm not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you want to raise your average transaction, you need to do a better job of identifying of identifying the right lead type. Okay. Monarch Title of Texas, generating partner. TDEC, generate. your insurance partner, your wealth manager, your CPA accountant, your inspector, your state, your interior designer. These are your revenue generating partners, but you have to leverage us to help you grow your business. They just gave you the holy grail of loan type. 100% financing, no mortgage insurance, will finance up to 3% of the closing costs, and it has only a 660 credit score, when the average credit score in the United States of America is 683. But if you're not utilizing that resource, you're costing yourself money. And if you're costing yourself money, why are you doing this? That's what it comes down to. Six major Texas markets, the average sales price in your state is $402,819. $402,819. And that's still more than the $350,000 average I told you about earlier. Raise your hand if you got a Houston real estate license. You got a Texas license, yes? These are the top six markets. Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Corpus Christi. If you can market, you can market anywhere in the state of Texas. They can fund anywhere in the state of Texas. They don't need to have an office there to fund the loan. They need a title company to receive the wire. If you're not leveraging your brand to facilitate more opportunities for yourself, why are you doing this business? If they don't know you, they can't buy you. It's really that simple. Think about it. Start targeting that buyer. $500,000 plus. Start targeting that buyer. Don't forget this buyer. Start targeting that buyer. I love to say the following. Go with us ain't. No, that's not grammatically correct by any stretch of the imagination. But going with us ain't puts you in rooms that allow you to expand your brand and your opportunities. Why do you continue to go to the same places that you know? You need to go to places where you don't know them and they don't know you. That's the dynamic of what we're talking about today. Targeting, lead generation, and conversion. And this is what everybody needs to do today. Reintroduce yourself to everybody in your cell phone that I am a real estate professional. Because how many times have you heard the following? Oh, I forgot you was in real estate. If you don't stay current and relevant in the people that you're trying to market to, how are you going to get more business? So, this is no, not big deal. This is one of my clients, all right? They're, they're a builder in Montgomery. I'm oh, sorry. They're a builder in Montgomery. They build houses from 250, no, from 200 to 450 and everything in between. So, people get caught up in their price point, okay? Well, this is what you need to know. Remember, research and digging? 
they're building a 14-story condominium building down in Galveston where everything starts at 847. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Alliances, relationships, targeting, understanding. And ask me who their preferred lender is. All the homes, I, I married them too. Because 100% financing in that, in that scale right there. Relationships matter. Lead types matter. I have a relationship with Home Magazine. Some of you have passed those magazines around. If you would, please. We have a relationship with Homes and Land Magazine. Okay? And what we have is on our page, we have pages that we control in the magazine. If you go to page 32, and Michael will get you uh, to you those who are not here. You go to page 32. I control those two pages. I put in that magazine the listings I want to put in there. I choose the builder to go in there. Those are my pages. You work with me. Most importantly, you work with people that's going to elevate your business. Okay? So the whole thing is, well, yeah, I don't have the money to buy an ad. Do you work with me? Yes. Here's your ad. Can you see the price? And the price point is four fifty and up, except for new construction. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars and up, except for new construction. Goes we'll go in the magazine every month. Relationships matter in building out your business. Relationships matter in building out your business. So think in terms of marketing partner development. TDECU has a program a downloadable app that you'll be sharing them and yourself that's marketable. Think about it. They are in your office. Mike, how'd you meet TDECU? Mm -hmm. Introductions. 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 Relationships matter. I don't introduce them to everybody. I introduce them to the room I'm in. Relationships matter. Every Saturday, I host my show. If you have a listing and you get with Mike, I will highlight your listing on my TV show. If you have an open house on Sunday, I will promote your open house on my TV show for Sunday. We do live remotes from the builder, from the open houses or resale, stuff like that. We talk about Everything in association with real estate. So it's TV, social media, radio, digital magazine, live on site. We do all that. Relationships matter. People ask me, is it, yeah, how's it going for you in time? I'm fine. They closing doors everywhere else. What the hell I got to do with me? <laughs> I pride myself in being the world's worst salesperson because I do not sell. My job is to market, elevate, and introduce. That's where my business comes from. That's where your business comes from. Stop selling, start educating. We in Texas, right? Some of us here are against our will. That would be me. And the rest of y'all here because you won't be here, all right? Oh, oh really? I'm welcome. Okay, thank you so much. You <laughs> can work in this whole state. Yes? And everybody in here knows somebody <clears throat> around the state, yes? But are you marketing to them? Are you introducing yourself to them? Can you partner? <clears throat> hey, you got a $500,000 deal in Eagle Pass, all right? $500,000 deal. Partner with a realtor down there. Get your 50% call in a day. You don't have to be there to make money in another market. But you market to the other market. You build relationships in other markets. These are the things that you can do. You don't have to be in Wichita Falls. You don't have to be in Nacogdoches. You don't have to be in Corpus Christi because you have a Texas real estate license. Be willing to let go of who you think you should be in order to be who you are. It's really that simple. Don't buy into what is happening. Buy into what you want to be happening. That will distinguish you from others. 
That's what people don't understand. My wife tell me all the time, I don't need to compliment you. You compliment yourself enough. Damn right. I don't need no help. Generating opportunity is all about having a marketing. Marketing is the foundation. Marketing is the foundation of everything it takes to grow your business. Everything. Uh, before you guys got here, Ricky was talking about the social media presence that Brooklyn Davis has. I think he's a stalker online himself, but that's just me, all right? Okay, but Michael's everywhere, right? Even when you don't want to see him, you see him. <laughs> okay, like, why is he up here? I'm looking for a, a recipe. <laughs> but think about that social media presence is a facilitator of opportunities on the growth of Brooks and Davis. The same works for you as individuals in growing your business. Don't be afraid to invest in yourself. That's a problem in the real estate industry. Being afraid to invest in themselves. He's already given you the footprint. He's already shown you the how. It's up to you to implement it. He know I'm going to give him grief every chance I get. Because that's my job. Is to give him grief. All right? There you go. Well, watch this here. True story. Michael, who is Laquana Davis? <laughs> what is it? What, what uh, training program did Laquana Davis go through? And he ain't been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> but, but think about it. What it is is he... <laughs> Better smile. Better smile. But think about it. Laquana's secret weapon was her smile, but it wasn't on full display like it should be. Look at her now. Look at her now. Everybody in this room has that same viability. Everybody online has the same viability. What is your superpower? It's all within. Everybody has greatness in them. They just have to flip the switch. Lead quality. Very low if you want to be a social worker. All right. Low, your part-time social work. I'm on medium, high, maximum. The type of leads I want to work with. Those people at the top of the food chain when it comes to leads are where you make your money at. Those at the bottom is where you wind up in specs every day. <laughs> Trying to understand how you got to this point in your life where all you want to do is drink. That's them at the bottom. You have got to develop the strength within to use the most powerful word in the world, no. And if they don't get no, go with double hell no. Yeah. But you have got to incorporate no. Got to incorporate no. Who likes referrals? I hate referrals. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I hate referrals because Buying. That's why buying. That's why selling. That's why leasing. And they tell you no. So you just been shut down. You're no longer top of mind. That's why I like introductions. Can you introduce me to the owner, the manager, the supervisor? To get access to the people. To generate your own referrals within by educating and not selling. I want introductions. When's the last time you went into a mom and pop restaurant that you love to go to and they got great food and asked to speak to the manager? I do it all the time. I raise hell with the bartender, be it a mom and pop or a large chain. I want to know who's coming in and out of there. I want to meet people for introductions. Everybody in here got a doctor. When's the last time you asked your doctor to introduce you to other doctors? Introductions. When's the last time you go into a doctor and say, hey, I would like to do a presentation with my mortgage partner for your staff and administration buying, selling, or investing in real estate in a doctor's office. We'll bring in lunch. Introductions. Everybody in their phone knows somebody's of, of consequence that you're not calling. Now, I'm not talking about the people you call. Everybody has somebody in their phone of consequence that you are not communicating with, you're not calling to help them because you're not reintroducing yourself 
or making yourself relevant to these people to help you grow your business. When people say, I don't have any business, I say, you're not working smart. When people say, I don't have any business, it's because you're not leveraging the resources you already have available to you. That's what separates good from great. So marketing equals alliances. Do you have an alliance? Do you have any alliances in this room? Yes. You got TDC, you got Monarch Title. And it's other relationships that you have. But this is what I want you to ask yourself about these other relationships. Are they helping you elevate your business? Are they helping you grow your business? Are they creating an environment for you to do more business? You have a marketing tool at your disposal, should have been at your disposal from day one, and I'm quite sure it was, on marketing that you and your lender partner provide 100% financing, 103% financing. And they don't have any problem with you using their, their logo on your market. But who's putting it out that you have a lender partnership that provides 103% finance? Yeah, no, anybody. Everybody in this room who has a real estate license should be putting it out there. Oh, this is my lender partner. No am I. Don't go into nothing else. You're not talking to interest rate. That's their job. We have 100% finance. And we can finance up to 3% towards the closing costs with no mortgage insurance with my lender partnership. They're willing to market you. You should be willing to market them. You must reward your growth partners. They're growth partners. I'm a growth partner. Marketing equals alliances. But if you don't ask for introductions and opportunities, how can we grow? The solution, you got to have a plan, you have to have a strategy, and then put in the effort. Plain and simple. The solution, plan, strategy, effort. How hard are you not working? Now my father used to ask me, my brother, this is our time. How hard are you not working? <laughs> my, one of my sisters, I was on the phone with her and my brother on the other day. <clears throat> they were teasing me. They said, how in the world was the laziest, hungriest teenager ever become a workaholic? I said, who are you talking about? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. All you do is come over to my house, eat up all our food, and lay up on the couch and hog TV. I don't recall. <laughs> But think about it. When you do that, I had no plan. I know I, all I want to do is play ball, get my scholarship, get go to pro, and eat up all their food. That's it. I no work. No. My mother's she used to say all the time, that one right there, shh, uh, leave him alone. No mother said all the time, leave him alone. All right. If you want your feelings hurt, go mess with him. He's his father, he's me, he's his grandfather, he has no filter. If you have feelings that you try to protect, do not talk to him. My favorite story to tell, one of my sisters got mad at me on the phone, I hung up in her face. She called my mother. My mother said, why are you whining at me? That fool hang up on me too. <laughs> so what's your motivation? What's your motivation? Do you have goals? Do you have the right attitude? What success are you trying to achieve? How are you performing? Are you utilizing the support you have available to you? And if you have ideas, are you incorporating those ideas? Now, I know for a fact that this brokerage is built on support. I know that for a fact. He spends his every waking hour looking for different ways to expand and grow how he supports the growth of his business and for agents who are part of his business. I know that for a fact. So, but are you utilizing these? It's recorded. They're going to delete it, don't worry. <laughs> Think about it. In collaboration, this is what? You have an in-house collaborator, but also collaborate with the people that you work with, okay? Now, I don't speak Spanish, but I will market to Spanish-speaking people I don't speak German, but I will mark the German speaking people. All right? I'm interested in a check. Only thing I'm interested in is a check. Did the check clear? That's all I'm interested in. I can have somebody else interpret for me. We're going to go to closing together. They're going to get their check. I'm going to get my check. I don't, you can say hello and goodbye for me in your native language. I don't give a damn. Check. 
alliances, pure minds. RMG the Collective, Monarch Title, Builder Boost. Builder Boost, Exclusive Realtor Growth Alliance, DFW, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Florida. They market me in those markets. Monarch Title, they market me in those markets. RMG, they market me in those markets. You have to have alliances and partnerships of value. Of value. Everybody you refer business with is not your partner. You just done business with them. Because if it's not reciprocal, they take them and you give them. Reciprocity, reciprocally beneficial businesses. Well, which one? This is my alliance. I can call Build a Boost anytime I want. Kim Gooley, Matt Gooley, husband and wife, on Build a Boost. Call me anytime I want. I raise all kind of hell with the ownership, uh, the senior ownership of Monarch Title, that they, yeah, don't even know no more. So I text them the other day, I need to meet with them. Your text is no more friendlier than your email. Yeah. I'm not here to be friendly. I'm here for a check. Explain to me why this don't work this way. Alliances. Everybody has an eyes. Then there's knowledge. Bring your head if you're smart. But you took too long. I need you to leave the room. You just took too long. Knowledge. I need somebody in here to tell me the top five single family residential listings that you have in Brooks and Dane. Anybody? Nobody can tell me what you have on your list at Brooks and Dane's. <laughs> Think about this. Why should I hire you and you don't even know what's going on in your own house? You don't even know what's going on in your own house, but you want me to hire you. <clears throat> top five single family residential listings at Brooks and Dane's. Okay, can you tell me the top five single-family residential listings in the areas you want to market to? But you tell me you want to grow your business. You don't even know what's going on out there in the marketplace because you don't even know what's going on. That knowledge is powerful when you're marketing to people in the areas you want to market in. But you don't know. You don't know. Why don't you know? That's a question that must be answered. Why don't you know what's going on in your own house and in the areas you want to market to? You can't grow business otherwise. You can't. You have to know. So, the thing of words. Pretty good. Good looking apartment complex, right? Anybody done leases? Yeah. People done leases? So, are you marketing to your previous leases? Marketing to your previous leases and educating them out of those leases to get to a purchase. But you got to educate them on those leases. Are any of you doing that? You should be. That's bird nest on the ground with eggs in it because you've already worked with them. They already know you. So now you take that relationship to the next level on educating them why they should buy. Well, I don't have any money. Well, my lender takes the uh, TDECU as 100% finance. And as long as you're not breaking your lease to adversely affect your credit, they can help you because we already know leases is 640, 660, 680 to get those leases. So they are already credit eligible. It's up to you to educate these people out of those leases for them to purchase. Is anybody doing luxury leasehold market? The luxuries around here. 275657-77380-77494-77027-77024-77041. All those zip codes they just told me, told you, the average lease price is 3000 and above. I'm not a realtor. I'm a researcher-holic. I need to know where to market to for the realtors I want to work with. You need to know. Did you know this is plain, simple lead generation? Plain and simple lead generation. Yet and still, you want to go over into that area where half the people in there is on subsidy and market to them. No, you are wasting your dollars. Target your dollars. Yes, I said that out loud. Leading broke people over in other ways of the way. So, buyer-generated partnerships. 
can TDECU generate pre-approved buyers? And it goes like credit score, household income, and folks. These are your partnerships to facilitate these things. Yes. You're bringing them a buyer to clear out, is it a good buyer or a bad buyer? Pre-approved. Because you can't show without a pre-approval nowadays. So they're right there to scan and review your potential buyer to get them approved. Yes. There you go. See? Relationships matter. How about this? Prioritizing your marketing goals and the steps. Start taking them. Start taking them. Everybody in this room needs to make sure they have all their information at the ready before you leave here today. At the ready. If you leave out of this room without their information to increase the value of your business and the business you're trying to do it, you are failing yourself. And yes, I said that out loud. And a fight go with it. <laughs> Leads, targets, prospects, qualified, converted. Marketing, demand generation, nurturing sales. This is a funnel, a funnel to the bank. This gets you to the bank. <clears throat> this gets you to the bank. Leads, targeting the right leads. Targeting the right leads. I know I got a few church goers up in the room, right? Uh, I drive by myself, but that's just me. Okay. But When's the last time you thought about holding a wealth building through real, uh, real estate seminar at your church? Wealth, wealth building through real estate seminar. I did not say first time on my workshop. Wealth building through real estate. Does TDECU do investing loans? Wealth building through real estate seminar to facilitate more opportunities for yourself. Educating those who don't know. Think in, her, think in terms of holding a town hall. Just like they do with politicians, hold a town hall. Hold a town hall talking about buying, selling, and investing in real estate. And market it to all the apartment complexes in a particular area to get them to understand the value of buying, selling, and investing in real estate. You are the educator. They are the student. That's where your business comes from. So advocacy, work with those who advocate for you. Lean into relationships for those who advocate for you. Everybody has somebody in their life that will advocate for them, but are you asking for that advocacy? I'm one of 15 children. When I started out in the mortgage business and we owned the bank years ago, my mother was one of 22. So you take 15 children, one of 22, my biggest advocates was my family. If their last name was Crane, I was sending them some information. How big is your family? How big is your network? Because access by extension works in the following way. 10 introductions times 10 introductions times 10 introductions is 1,000 introductions. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. You all have that access, but you're not asking for it. So when you tell me the business is slow and there's no business, no, 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 no. You're not utilizing tools that you have readily available to you to grow your business. Advocacy is about reward your growth partners. They have invested in tools to create more opportunities for you because the more opportunities they create for you, the more opportunities they create for themselves. Same with me. The more opportunities I create for you, the more opportunities I create for myself. Think in terms of your business as an opportunity for those who want to work with you. That's how it works. So, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you a person that got a real estate license or are you a real estate professional? Who are you? Until you answer that question, you can't find your success. Who are you? Do I have a real estate license or am I a real estate professional? A real estate professional is putting in the work and the time and the effort to be successful. The other people got a real estate license. You don't have 50,000 licensed agents in this market working. You have 50,000 licensed agents. Who are you? So, 
utilizing own resources, your database. Everybody has a phone, text database. Everybody has an email database, email database. Your database, you own. But you're not communicating with people in your own database. Like I said earlier, oh, you was, I forgot you was a real. Your previous clients stay connected. And this is the way it works. If you stay connected to 50 people a year, not even clients, 50 people, that's a hundred thousand dollars a job. Consistent communication with 50 people a year leads to a hundred thousand dollars extra income because you're telling them these are the listings we have, these are the specials my builder partner has, these ABC, you're keeping them informed. Those 50 people, that's an extra hundred thousand dollars in income because you're keeping them informed. Because by keeping them informed, they are now another voice for you out in the marketplace because you're keeping them informed. Previous profession. If you're not reaching back to your previous profession, you're doing yourself a disservice. Doing yourself a disservice. Your family and friends, even the ones you don't like, most the chance. I don't need to like all my family. I have a brother that moved here two years ago. I've seen him four times. My niece, who I do have a great relationship, why you always see your brother? I didn't like him when he was growing up. Why we think it'll change now? You can't do nothing for me. Whatever. We have to create outreach protocols to stay connected to people. Newsletters, postcards, emails, text messages. You have got to create protocols to stay connected. If you don't stay connected, how is there any awareness of you whatsoever? And everybody has experienced experience it, and they're going to experience it. I didn't know or I forgot you was a realtor. You're going to experience that because you're not staying connected. You have all these resources and all this access, and you're not reaching out to people. You have to utilize your own resources, your database, your family, and friends, your previous clients. That's yours. That's yours. So, client initiatives. Anybody ever thought of block party before? Can y'all get together as Brooks and Davis to do a block party yeah. and do a fundraiser to identify the community that you want to work in and the little league team or the football team or the basketball team or the track team? Block party. You're looking to create environments to introduce yourself. And make people aware of you. I always say show up and show out. If you don't show up, you can't meet nobody. We find excuses not to do. My excuse to do is a check. Before y'all got here, I got on the computer and uh, paid my son's tuition. And sent my ex-wife a note telling her I, I don't like her or our children. Opportunities where you live. Opportunities where you live. You're ignoring them. Bring to the table your distinctive creativity and put it on display. What makes you unique? I met with a realtor two weeks ago. <clears throat> she didn't know she was out in the parking lot waiting for me to show up for one of the restaurants. So I pulled up because she didn't know I had changed vehicles. So she was looking for my old bill. I pulled up. Yeah, I rolled down the window before I could say something. She was singing. Oh my God. I mean, she could sing. I literally just parked there and listened to her sing. And I said, Hey, Miss Grammy Winner, Winner, where, where all that come from? I had no idea she could sing. Since that time, she has created a song to introduce herself to her database. On why so everybody got something bake, cook. You don't have to do it, post it. You post everything else, take a picture of somebody else's damn food, take a picture of your own damn food. Be distinctive with your creativity. I know an artist that's an agent. That's some amazing art. I know a sculptor that's an agent. You have to put things out there so people can connect with you to create dialogue and relationships. So, when you win, acknowledgement market, the opportunity generator. I always ask the question, when you close a transaction, who do you tell? 
Oh, I put it on Facebook. You don't know all the damn people. The people you need to tell are the small business owners in the neighborhood where you sold that house. You need to identify the employers in those areas. You need to tell everybody in the neighborhood where you sold that house that if you're ready to sell, I'm available here for you because I'm an expert in the community. You need to communicate that information that you sold to the churches in that community and make them aware that you are available to assist them in buying, selling, and investing in real estate. If they don't know you, they cannot buy you. It's really that simple. That's the opportunity generate that you have control over because you just told a story about how you helped somebody. And speaking of telling a story, never, ever post the value of the transaction. Tell the story on how you secured the transaction. I've been working with this family for the last six months. They had a few credit challenges, but I put them together with my credit restoration professors. I put them together with my mortgage lender, and we got them across the finish line. There are many people out there that need to hear that story that will reach out to you, hire you, because they want that same story to benefit them. Stop putting out the amount. Tell the story. Remember about the autopsy? Tell the story on how you win. Tell the story on how you help them win. That's the dynamic that you have to bring in. Database analysis, creating better connectivity. That's all it is. The next question. Yes, wait, wait. So the story that we tell, can we go back and grab some of those stories? So oh, absolutely. We don't have, they don't have to be like They don't have to be current. No. Put your stories out there because you want to introduce yourself to people that don't know you. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Marketing intensity. Mama go eat. Mama go feed up babies. Right? Intensity. You have to be bring intensity to it, but you have to have intention and purpose. It's necessary. It's necessary. You can't wake up and leave your house and not know what your purpose is that day. You need to leave your house and know what your purpose is. Just like you came here today, was this a part of your purpose today? Yes, it was. Everything must be that way. Daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, with purpose and intensity. Because at the end of the day, you got to be focused on what you're trying to achieve. You got to be focused on what you're trying to achieve. You can't go out there hoping something happens. You got to go out there and make something happen. Three kind of people. Make it happen. Watch it happen. Say what happened. I want to be the make it happen person. So, mom on the hunt. And remember this. Marketing equals hunting. Marketing equals hunting. When we get up every day to market ourselves, we are hunting new opportunities. Our friends from TDECU, they are out here marketing because they're hunting the next transaction. You're hunting for the next transaction. The next thing to add into your pipeline. That's what today is about. Transform yourself. You must become predator, not prey. And to be specific about that, you want to work with people that are working with you, not using you. You want to be predator, not prey. We can hunt together, but you're not going to hunt me and forget me. We can hunt together because if they take it and not provide it, you're prey. You are prey. Nobody wants to be used or admit they have been used. What we want to do is we want to change the dynamic as we move forward. Marketing you was hunt. Creativity in the hunt, got to change it up a little bit. You don't hunt luxury buyers the same way you hunt leases. Dictate the market. Stop letting the market dictate you. It, it just drives me nuts. You know it's slow out there. They got clothes every night. Builders still building. Builders still selling. Lenders still lending. Titles still closing. And agents are still selling. So that when you let it dictate you, that means you're not being creative in doing things a little differently. To have more, be more, do more. You got to show up and show out. I teach all over the city, all over the state, all over the country. Because everybody who works for me to bring me in, they know, you know, if you go, you give them a check, they're going to show up. Mm-hmm. I want that to be on my T-shirt. Give him a check, he'll show up. 
what are you doing to motivate people to help you secure a check? That's the dynamic. Jury, everybody like that? <laughs> I need you to start targeting my event and hosting your attendance. I need y'all to start going to these events that y'all just said, I don't have no money to buy nothing. They don't, you don't have any money to have buy, buy something to attend. You need to attend because you need to know the people in the room. You need to go. Do you need to purchase an exotic car at the exotic car auction to go? Or do you need to be at the exotic car auction? You need to be there. Do you need to have go to a wine tasting and buy a $500 bottle of wine to attend? No, you need to be there. Do you need to go buy something at an art auction? Or do you need to be there? Be there. A targeting by event, hosting, or attending. That's what you have to do to increase your average transaction. Show up and show out. That's the dynamic. Go and be a part of something. Go and garner new introductions. Go and develop new relationships. And this stuff happens in your city all the time. All the time. But if you are over here and they over there, how are you expanding your marketplace? That's what targeting lead generation and conversion is about. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. I'm telling you everything you ignore. You know this, but you're ignoring it because you think it doesn't apply to you. Don't you want to be in a room standing next to a person that can stroke a check for $250,000? Absolutely you do. And cozy up to them and develop a relationship with them so they can introduce you to the other people who can stroke a $250,000 check. So how do we find, like, how do we find people that know? Let's start with Houston City Book. Look up Houston City Book. Start right there. That's your local luxury event guide. Houston City Book. Houston Convention and Visitors Council. Houston Partnership, Chambers of Commerce. I ain't slowing down. I got places to be. I'm hungry, Dan. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? All this stuff is research-based, okay? Everything is research-based. Google uh, wine tasting events. Google art auctions. Everything, all right? Y'all can find the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Whatever. Yeah, you going to the rodeo? Hell no. Why? I'm Los Angeles. I don't know about no damn cowboys and idiots. <laughs> Business development filters. Household income. Credit score. Current lease payment. New construction business development. New buyer education forums. That's an education. Community builder panels. Builders will come out to an event to talk to potential clients about their products. Home buyer initiatives, working with local nonprofits and charities. Uh, most churches right now have initiatives for people to become homeowners. Credit eligible renters, you know what they need, 660. 660, have you ever thought about, let me call this apartment complex, hey, what's the minimum credit score that takes to move your apartment complex? Oh, 640? Well, you know that don't apply for the 100% finance over here. Oh, 680? Oh, I got. I need to start marketing. This apartment complex. They got people I want to... You see what I mean? There you go. Notice of default. This is for listings. Pre-notice of default. Short sale leads. Discounted payoff marketing. Listing data, 90 plus days late residence commercial. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I will give this data to Michael G. Davis. For listings and stuff like that. I'll even give him credit eligible buyers as well. He will disseminate who gets them. See, I've learned my lesson just about giving. I will give it to him and he will disseminate who gets these leads. So think about it. He tells me, yeah, we want to start targeting these uh, 660 plus credit scores. I'm going to send him the whole register of 660 plus credit scores and get what you guys, he can get what you guys on how to market to these people and turn them into buyers. Same thing with listings. Get what you guys on how to convert them into listings. Okay? 
Because what I've learned in the past, you, you got to give it to the head. Because giving it to the agents, it'd be sitting in their mailbox, they don't do nothing with it. They busy, whatever. Right. But think about that. You now have a 100% financing partner and you have a lead generation partner to help grow your business. And we also real estate on leads. So database money. This is applicable with TDECU. They have that app that you can mark with each other. But then you can create a landing page that has TDECU, you, and your insurance partner. Reviewer update insurance. Buying, selling, investing. Purchase and refinance. And you're marketing together to facilitate opportunities. But who are you marketing that to? The databases you already own. You have to go find anything. The databases you already own. You're just letting them know, I got 103% mortgage partner. I have a great insurance provider. And you make sure the insurance person that you choose, they're going to elevate your business. Because if they take and not give it, hit that eject button in your car and kick them out. These are things that are readily available to you to facilitate opportunities for you. That's the dynamic we're working with today. So, Builder Boost. Make sure you sign up for it because they have an ambassador program because of RMG. You'll get to do hosting of events at Ashton Woods, Alta Homes, Princeton Classic, and Toll Brothers because you sign up with them and you have a relationship with us. And the beauty of this, because of the relationship with us, it just won't be Houston. You'll have access to build a boost in Dallas, Fort Worth, San Antonio, Austin, and Florida. And believe it or not, each one of you has a national license already because you're a member of the National Association of Realtors, which means you can connect with other realtors who are in an association, but you need to start getting, I get on the calls, again, I'm not a realtor, but I get on the NAR calls. I get on the TAR calls, I'm not a realtor. I want to know what the hell's going on so I can grow my business. That's how we can grow your business. Awareness and knowledge. So, Michael is going to send Elaine, my assistant, to say, send me the data targeting requests. She's going to send it to him and then we'll start giving data back and forth. And he's going to find out, you're going to find out who he like and who he don't like. That's what they're going to work. <laughs> because the deal is we all want more closing, yes? yes? We want to go to the bank on a more consistent basis. That's what all the data targets as well. So now you have a situation where credit eligible buyers who can be pre-qualified by TDECU. Yes? Ready to go. That's the relationship that you now have that you have to maximize its value. Maximize its value. And I can speak to them like I told uh, Miles earlier. They did my loan. So I'm not talking from I hope they can do something. They did my loan. <clears throat> and I'm not somebody easy to deal with. Let me put that part out there. Too. So this is Monarch Tyler, Texas. Texas. That's who you're working with. You're working with partners who our job is to elevate you because it elevates us. It's really that simple. So, this today has been about targeting, lead generation, and conversion. Any questions? Get out. Any questions? This is this is awesome. Thank you. And oh, cool. No, I was going to say, and the one thing from the last time you spoke to us mm -hmm. is to eject those people that are not pouring into it. Because I have people, you know, you go to the doctors and you go to the dentist. So some of those people, I'm like, look, y'all haven't been sending me nothing, but I've been coming to y'all for the last five million years. So that just really helped me. Thank you. Yeah.
So I just wanted to hand this out. Like you said, I, you can't be here without getting my contact info. <laughs> so definitely want to do that. You've heard it. I talked to y'all last week. And uh, I've got now 100% financing, like you said. Uh, excellent product. Not a lot of lenders do the 100%. I don't know any of you that want to. So like you said, use that as a marketing tool. Put it out there. You can ask people questions. Yeah. There's brokers that do that already. Put it out on the social media. Um, and it'll just help you get more business. So, 100% product. So, just like I said, it's an awesome tool. Get in contact with me. My contact information is down there. If you have someone that needs to apply quickly, there's a QR code at the bottom. So, um, you can easily. Um, hit that QR code and download the tax free mortgage app. If you want to co brand with me on that app, contact me. I just need a picture of you, your contact information, and you can co brand because what that does is when you send them the app, you'll know when they download it and know when they apply. So it keeps you, you know, up to date. Because sometimes they'll come and apply and they don't know if they apply it, which is what it's for you. So we just need to call you to see to, to co brand or email, email. email me your picture and your contact info and I'll co brand and what's gonna happen is it's gonna send you a link to an email so that you can uh, download the app the app so that you place and you can uh, send it to you know your prospects and then you download it, apply. Like I said, once they get downloaded, you get notified once they apply. You get notified, and as things progress throughout the transaction, you get notified also. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Everybody good? Was it beneficial? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, then, Mr. Dave. Yeah, I need you to get you a better hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you paid you paid <laughs> All right. They dismissed. All right. Well, thank you all for joining on Zoom. Thank you, EL. Everyone, have a great day. All right. You too now. <clears throat> thank you.